here we are with Hubbard. We'll play the very strangers. Yeah. How's it going? It's very good and it's been a very great concert. Thank you so much. But you destroy a guitar every concert or it's just for this? Every now and then it just happens, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you, you hit somebody else in the head, sometimes you destroy a guitar, sometimes the drums. But it's rock. It's rock. Anyway. Yeah. You gotta let loose. You gotta not be afraid. So it's good. So. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's your, what do you mean for noise? When the people say noise, what do you think? I don't think good things when people say noise, but to me it sounds really harmonious and beautiful, but to other people maybe they think it's noise. But I mean, I, you know, noise is, you know, can be used in really good ways. So, you know, we're using these elements which could be described as noise, as pitch and key and harmony and kind of creating something which sort of envelops out of those elements. Yeah, there is a lot of harmony on your on your music, in fact. A lot of guitar, a lot of... Uh, and uh, particular use of the of the voice. So, so sure. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. That's uh, the... Big, a lot of it's washed out, so it's kind of ambiguous. So yeah. I think you kind of... Uh, you know, sort of develop, a little, you're not quite sure where the harmony is going and stuff, and that could be kind of a cool thing. How much do you play, uh, do you plan what you're gonna play on a concert, and how much you get something different we, every we time? We try not to plan it at all. You know, we try to so, let it go for the moment. Like, you know, we write a set list about like 15 minutes before we play or something, or five minutes before we play, or even sometimes right on stage. And then we always play different stuff. And then, like, we even tonight we played a few songs that we've never played before. And um, we always try to do different things. It just makes it much more fun and stuff. So, yeah, I think and so. you never know, just depending on the environment that you're in, what sounds your guitar is going to make. So, you have to kind of be willing to go with it at the time. So, yeah. I read about you. You are called the loudest band from New York. That's what some people say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this? Do you like it? I mean, it's ridiculous, but uh, whatever. You know, I mean, I guess it's that. You know, that has something to be said. You know, sometimes we're extremely loud. And if, um, you know, I think maybe we're sometimes louder in the U.S. than in other countries because we can bring all our own amplifiers. And so a lot of times we'll bring as much stuff as we possibly can. And so sometimes it's insanely loud. Sometimes yeah. not as loud. Sometimes there's noise limits and whatnot. And so you have to go with whatever. But, you know. Looking at the show, uh, I was thinking uh, the most of the band who play this kind of music uh, usually play in a little place, close, uh, probably darker. What, what do you prefer? You prefer plays like this, uh, open on the stage, or uh, I you prefer think your music works better in a I prefer place? something illegal. You know, <laughs> so it's like, you know, I prefer to play in some alleyway somewhere when the cops are going to show up and shut you down, or play at someone's <laughs> house or something, where there's like a little bit of extra excitement where, yeah. you know, at any moment things could go terribly wrong, so. That's the uh, best kind of place where uh, the show came out from uh, outside the stage. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. Any of those things. That sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you like to listen to uh, inside? All sorts of stuff. I mean, I love so much music. Like, where I live, there's a music venue in our house. So I get to hear great bands all the time. Um, some good bands right now, like Pencil Teeth is a really good band. Uh, Weekend, this band Coin Under Tongue. Um, X Models is a really good band. Um, there's tons of good bands. I mean, there's lots of really good music going on. And uh, the OCs, Natural Child, Jeff the Brotherhood, tons of great bands. And it's like... Um, You know, they're, they're good for different occasions, I guess. You know, it's not all the same kind of music. So, um, you know, I like good music where people are really going for it and doing something cool and creative and neat and interesting. So some of the stuff is reminiscent maybe of the past. And I mean, I like lots of stuff from the past as well. So, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever.
It must sound good. Yeah, sure. No, <laughs> yeah, no, no. At, at least that's the most. I mean, there's times you think stuff sounds good and it doesn't sound good in other situations. Like yeah. some music is better just to listen to yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know, like Au Revoir Simone or something I like that. So. You know, it's good if you're like sleepy and on a train or something. And then if you want to get pumped up and party down, you know, you put something else in. So. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And um, now we are on tour. Yeah. What's going? This is the first day. So first it's good. Day. Well, we had this, uh, we got to New York, our flight was seven hours delayed. So we're at the airport for like nine hours or something like that. Then we get on the plane, and then we spend two hours in the plane uh, because of technical difficulties. So it's 11 hours until we fly out. Yeah. So, and then by that time, you know, we didn't really get much any sleep or anything, but that's a good way to start a tour. It's good to kind of be like What's the next fucked day? up and like crazy. Next we're going to Paris. And then so, yeah. So we're flying to Paris and then we're starting a tour in a, in a van. And so this was a fly in to here to Milan and play Milan. And That's good. We love Italy. Fuck yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. When we got the show offer, we were like, hell yeah, we'd love to come back and do this. So. Are you a fool? <laughs> yeah, definitely. We love Italy. It's amazing. Yeah. No, definitely. What do you like from Italy? What do I like from Italy? Yeah, mostly. <laughs> Everything from Italy. I mean, the people are just fucking fantastic. The food is really amazing. You know, like for coffee, orange juice. <laughs> you know, people like to party, which is really cool, I think. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, they're just good people who have, like, really strong interests in a lot of things like music and culture. And that's awesome, you know. And it's like, I think people in Italy are also kind of sort of fashionable, maybe in different weird ways or something, but it's like they're kind of searching for the cutting edge, and that's good, you know, it reminds me a little yeah. bit of like New York and stuff, so it's good stuff, I think. Yeah. Oh, there is something we have to know about your music that people never say. I don't know, that means there is something more uh, you want to say, and usually, usually people don't get it. Ah. Uh, I don't know, I guess maybe, um, I guess, I don't know, maybe how our music is like, um, you know, we're kind of, I don't know, working with like the anti-music is music at the same time, so it's kind of destroying music at the same time. I mean, people probably understand that stuff too, so who knows. Um, maybe how, you know, it's, uh, i mean, we kind of, like, try to, like, lose ourselves when playing the music and try to not be aware of what's going on to kind of, like, really feel the music. So to us, it's, like, really important, like, feeling and sound. It's, like, honing in on what you feel and what it sounds like, like, rather than being, like, a really good player or anything like that. It's all just kind of, like, about pouring emotion and feeling it to every moment and kind of, like, going for it and risking it all and, you know, trying to go on what you actually and your gut tells you it's good. And so we're not trying to listen to what other people tell us or anything like that and just do something that we think is good. And if people like it or they don't, whatever. How, how do you usually work on your music? It's uh... all sorts of ways. It's like completely different all the time. We're constantly writing like every single way you possibly could imagine. We will be, um, you know, whether it means that we record tons of music all the time or whether you're like kind of right walking on the street and you come up with melodies or we'll get together and record music with other people. Or... Change every time. Yeah, I think that's the best. The best thing yeah. I think is I keep things different and fresh all the time. And if you're constantly working on different projects and trying to make videos or art or whatever, and then, um, you know, it keeps things exciting and fresh. I think you should try to enjoy life and live life and, uh, you know, and then you'll have exciting things to reflect upon. So we try to have a good time. Everybody should try to have a good time. I think that's the point of life. Yeah, it's good. To have a good time. good time. And then, uh, you know, play music if you love doing that. So. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Albert. you so much. And uh, good luck for the next right rest on. of the awesome. tour. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah burning eyes. Yeah, burning eyes. Hell yeah. Live it up. Check it out.